Look, we're at home with Miss Jones. Look, I'm in Julia Child's kitchen. Should I say Julia? Julia Child's kitchen. <laughs> Man, I'm having a time in here looking through it. This is awesome. I wasn't expecting to have this here. Made my day. Goodness gracious, this is at home with Miss Jones. Well, this is not at home with Miss Jones. We are in Washington, D.C. A preacher is turning. How old are you going to be this week, boy? <laughs> I'm going to be 70. Yeah, and uh, I think you've been liking me since you were 17. Yep, long time. <laughs> <laughs> he he sounds like he's been in jail a long time. <laughs> anyway, preacher is hitting the big milestone of turning 70. I'm 67. I'm just a chick. Uh, we decided to take a special trip for his birthday, and I have to thank our daughter, Jordan. She's treating us to this trip. Well, let me rephrase that. She made it clear. Her daddy was <laughs> one turning 70, <laughs> so she's paying for his part of the trip. As far as my part of the trip, she's charging me double. Now, how do you, that to me, you know, she's a math teacher, she's got it all figured out, but even I can figure it out, that makes me pay for his, but I'm just kidding, she is treating us to this trip. We're having a jam up big time, and we, we left, uh, when did we leave? Saturday, Saturday morning. Saturday morning, and uh, we drove to Atlanta, we took the Delta airline out here. Yeah. I hadn't flown in uh, quite a while. I thought everybody was way too quiet on the plane. And I asked my daughter already, if on the flight home, could I kind of get people to get up and sing or tell where they were from? <laughs> I like to get to know people everywhere I go. If you know me, I'm going to figure out who you are. No, no, you are not doing that. That is not happening. No, do not embarrass me on that next flight. Do not. No, not happening. No. <laughs> it gets to know you so. That's still up for debate if I'm going to get to do that on the way home. But anyway, we're having a big time. Saturday, we mostly just, we called a cab out here to the hotel, and we're in downtown, is that what you say? Downtown D.C. We're in downtown D.C. I'm lost as a goose. <laughs> we're about a half a mile from the White House. And we're in this really, really nice uh, hotel room that she booked for us. And see, we got a living room. We got a full kitchen. I wasn't planning on doing a lot of cooking up here, but it's a full <laughs> kitchen. And then uh, really big, king-size beds. Anyway, Sunday mostly we just got to the hotel and got settled in. It was, wasn't it raining a little bit then? And we went next door. The next door is CVS. I want my friend Jimmy at CVS and Center to know that I feel real safe because <laughs> his drugstore is <laughs> next door. But anyway, we got a lot of little things that we needed in there. And we walked to dinner, didn't we? That the night we ate it, I can't say it. El Sol, El Sol. Okay, they make authentic Mexican, Mexican food. Yes, but I will say, the first thing out of my mouth was, we would like to order a cheese dip. Of which the lady <laughs> said, what? I said, cheese dip. And she said, well, we don't have that. So authentic Mexican restaurants don't have cheese dip. I thought, well, we in trouble here. But we may do. Whatever they brought us, it was really good. I've never seen it look like that color before. But <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that red sauce we get at home? Salsa. 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 Well, theirs wasn't red. It was a yellow gold color. But I will say it tasted really good. And we walked back to the hotel. And I'm going to say that I was going to keep this out of the video, but I want to give a 100% truth video. So we did purchase me a, you know what a rollator is? Because, you know, I had the knee surgery. Oh, well, it's been six months now, but I had the knee surgery. But still, sometimes I'm unsteady with all the walking we're going to do. So we did buy one of them and brought it with us. It's a little old seven-pound thing. It folds up, let it out, and you just push it along. I call it a walker. But anyway, I'm using that when we go on long journeys. And then right. Sunday, we yeah, got up and we went to uh, the Bible Museum and spent the day there. Had a great time. Saw a lot of things about the Bible that... I had never seen. We had original copies of some of the Bibles from the 14, 1500s, and uh, a lot of the things of how the Bible came into being. It's just really a great trip, and you'd be uh, encouraged and blessed if you ever get a chance to go because there's so much to learn about the Bible that we don't hear in our average church services. My favorite part was 
they had something called the Washington Revelation. Man, it was cool. You walked in this room and you kind of got, I call it buckled up like he's going to ride the mind bender or something at Six Flags. <laughs> you're standing there, you're holding on to this thing and all everybody's holding on to something. And then it kind of moves you forward. It's like you take off flying and you're flying all over Washington. And uh, what was cool about it was they took us to everywhere in Washington that scripture Right, that scripture is written. So you would fly right up and stop, look like you're gonna run all over Lincoln, uh, President Lincoln. It stopped, and then it would angle up, and it would show you the scripture that's written there. And then you take off flying through trees, and I was screaming just like I was <laughs> on it, on the mind bender thing. It's like you are riding on a drone, okay. if you can imagine that. And it is a neat trip, but it's well worth it. <laughs> you explain stuff so much better than I do. <laughs> In this Gettysburg Address, President Lincoln drew inspiration from the Bible. That this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom. And that government of the people, by the people, and for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Last dare, praise be to God is carved into the very tip of the Washington Monument. You need to go to that. Don't you pay a little extra for that, Jordan? It's not much, is it? You pay a little extra to do that particular thing. And uh, it is really, really worth it. The kids would love it, and us old people liked it, too. Okay. Oh, man, what do we do after that? I don't forgot. And we tried to calm you down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that took a little while. We ate lunch there, didn't we? Had a very good lunch. Had to... But you could eat hamburgers or chicken fingers, things like that. But it was a very good lunch. And then they have an observation deck where you can walk out and look at the city. And uh, we saw a lot of different sites from that sixth floor observation. And so it's really a, a, a good trip that day. And it takes you all day to do it because there's so much to see and do. Uh, we ate in there. And we also been getting breakfast here at the hotel. And they are serving us a really good, like, full breakfast. You know, pancakes and uh, eggs and sausage and anything you could want. They've got it here at the hotel. So we don't have to go out for that. But we ate lunch, like you said. Now, you probably need to pack a little extra money for that if you're going to eat in there. Because it was it, it was good, though. Uh, but it was like three people. It was like $60. But it was a huge hamburger. And if we had known it was going to be that big. And lots and lots of french fries. Would you say lots yeah, of? Yeah. Uh, we should have had it. But we didn't know. And big chicken fingers, they, I've seen kids trying to swallow them big chicken fingers, so there's no way they could, you know. <laughs> so they give you ample food for your money, I will tell them that. After we ate there, and we went on, it's about, how many floors is in that, six floors? There's six floors. Six floors. We're here to the uh, Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C. And look at this spread of food. They got room after room uh, set up that were lifelike. And this looks like a spread, like at home of this John likes to put out. Isn't it just wonderful? We are so enjoying this trip. Flowers. And Jordan knew right where to go first. She has been studying this thing online for a long time and in Facebook groups and stuff. And she's learned just what we need to do. In fact, I told her, when you retire from being a school teacher, you need to be a travel guide. Because, man, she's got, oh, I'll have to show y'all the agenda that we have that we're going to go by every day, written by my daughter. And then, oh, we called another taxi because it was kind of rainy. You know that, uh, hurricane all that hit a few days ago well it affected some rain up this way so we caught another taxi in fact we've had three taxis so far haven't we and every one of them's been really nice and i talked their ears off i found out <laughs> just how long they'd lived here and what all they've ever done and trying to see if i knew their mom and them you know how that goes but uh, anyway i love to talk to people and meet new people let's see we were so full though i will say from eating at the Museum. We didn't go out for dinner last night, did we? No, we didn't. No, we just had snacks. Yeah, we just ate snacks in the room. Preacher went to CVS again. <laughs> so we was craving Cheetos. <laughs> so uh, he went and got us a Cheeto. This is his birthday week. We told him that on his actual birthday, next Saturday, that we will wait on him hand and foot, and he won't have to wait on us hand and foot. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what we do. I'll wait it when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Monday afternoon, and we have had a full day with our tour guide today. <laughs> at home, not at home with Miss Joan, 
And today's Monday, and we started out, of course, with a wonderful breakfast here at the hotel. And so we went to the Holocaust Museum. And if you've never been there, um, when you first get there, they give you an identification card. Um, it gives you the information about someone. And as you read through it, it'll tell you um, if they lived or died um, during this time. Um, my person's name is Manya. Her family was taken to Auschwitz and she never saw them again. She was taken to a different concentration camp, to Ravensbrück. She was rescued by the Swedish uh, in April 1945. And so we uh, walked through all the exhibits and they don't allow much photography there so we don't have much photography to show you from there because of course it is such a sobering set of exhibits to walk through. The hair that was off their heads and they how they shaved it and then they sold the hair mm -hmm. and all those empty shoes just piled up that you know it represented somebody walking in those shoes and of course seeing the, the gas chambers that was just I realized that I never really suffered much in my lifetime never really seen much suffering and you just it just comes over you as a realization of uh, how some people really suffered in this world we stayed there what? How long? Half a day? About two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. hours. Yeah. And uh, that was one of the main places that we wanted to see, make sure that a uh, preacher saw. And from there, we, everywhere, when I've been watching videos on YouTube about DC, everybody says to try Ben's Chili Bowl. Oh, yeah. And so we took a taxi there. <laughs> and while I'm talking about taking a taxi, that's been a good app that I have downloaded for this trip. It's called the Curb app. And I've never used it before this trip. And it just takes my, my location and I key in where I want to go. And uh -oh. within seven minutes, we have a taxi there. She pushes a button and she said, Mama, go stand here. He'll be here in a minute. And sure enough, she's got a clock on it and it tells he'll be here in a minute. And he just zips right in there. Don't mm -hmm. he? Every time, uh, we've had several of them. They've been paying too much for taxis just because of me. I can't walk as far as they do. But it, we really enjoyed that out. I don't know who's paying for it. She just pays for it. All <laughs> well, like magic. magic. It comes it's like, like my magic. It's paid for it. <laughs> okay. And so we went to Vince Chili Bowl and we got, that's where you get the half smoke and fries. And we tried their banana pudding. Oh, yeah. 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 Everybody says when you come to Washington, well, even when we went to the airport and they saw our license and saw it was Ricky's birthday coming up and they said, what are you going to do? Oh, you need to eat it. Vince Chili Bowl. And we'd already been told that by several people. So we made a point to go there today. And uh, it looks like a little, just a little, what we call hole in the wall. But they're really known for their, uh, I guess, hot dogs and hamburgers and chili bowls and all that. There's all kind of pictures on the wall of different presidents and uh, dignitaries that's eaten there, along with at home with Miss Joan has now eaten there. And eaten quite well, too. <laughs> And then from there, we went to the American History Museum. Oh, yeah. And I had heard before to go to start at the top floor and come down. The top floor has the first lady dresses, which I love seeing. No, that, that I love. Fun. Now, we had to drag preachers through looking at all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's what the first ladies wore at the inauguration. Mm -hmm. And, oh, man, they were beautiful. And you just got to go see every one of them. And, of course, we he went with us being nice. But then we went with him to all the war memorials and all the uh, guns and military stuff that he saw, right? Mm -hmm. But it was really good and we stayed there a long time and got a whole section on Julia Child. Her, she donated, I didn't know it, she donated her kitchen to the Smithsonian and they got it set up just like she had it so I got to look like I was right there cooking with her or <laughs> in it and I tried to talk like she talked but <laughs> I couldn't do it but she's just a great icon and uh, you know, one of the ladies that laid down the trail for many people to follow and all these cooking shows that we see nowadays. So I'm surprised to see that. Jordan, you did you already know it was there? I knew it was there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look, we're at home with Miss Joan is. Look, I'm in Julia Child's kitchen. Should I say Julia, Julia Child's kitchen. <laughs> Man, I'm having a time in here looking through it. This is awesome. Well, the beautiful first lady's dresses and the uh, Julia Child exhibit was my favorite things that I saw at the museum. I like the Star Spangled Banner that oh, was yes. there. I didn't realize how big it was, the banner that inspired Francis Scott Key to write the anthem. 
Well, I really enjoyed the, the Holocaust Museum. I'd read about it, heard about it for a long time, but it's different when you walk through it and see all the the pictures and all the exhibits of how those Jewish people really suffered and so many of them died. And there were a lot of people that did live through it, but uh, history tells us six million Jews were murdered during that time. They just brought back a lot of, uh, you know, memories of how that we need to be aware of God's blessing on America. He's been good to this country. And we don't need to forget those things as we look back and see how we have uh, witnessed suffering throughout the world. And then at the uh, American History Museum, I really enjoyed the uh, uh, looking at the different wars, starting with the Revolutionary War and moving forward. Uh, they had a lot of memorabilia there of all the battles and uh, a lot of the history that took place. And it was just a good day for uh, me as an American to reflect on how good God is and how he's brought us to where we are today. And while we're here in Washington, D.C., I'm praying for this nation, praying for our leaders, and praying we will honor God in all we do. Uh, Are you having a good birthday, preacher? Yes, very good week, and I appreciate Jordan uh, planning this trip for us. We're having a wonderful time and excited about what we're going to see tomorrow and the rest of the week. Tomorrow we're going to head to the Capitol. We have a tour scheduled oh, through yeah. Mike Rogers' office. And then we have um, Library of Congress after that, and then Ford's Theater. Woo we full day. Full day. This is at home, Miss Joan. We're signing off, signing off. for a Monday Wash from Washington D.C. <laughs> Renaissance Hotel. That's the name of it. Residence Inn. Re <laughs> <laughs> well, I was so glad I come with these two because I'd be totally lost. <laughs> Residence Inn. Okay. <laughs>